OAI is kind of software and hardware platforms, including core and access network of 3GPP cellular system. OAI is the open source provided by OSI. OSI provides software and tools for 5G wireless research and product development. OAI has an ongoing project that is LTEM, NPIoT, 5G NR, CUCU, Split. This is OAI protocol and function entity architecture. The OAI architecture provides many kinds of services including LTE, 5G NR, NPIoT, and so forth. NPIoT can be deployed using band in LTE career or guard bands in LTE career or standalone for developments in a dedicated spectrum. The architecture of NBIoT based on LTE and have some change due to requirements of IoT service. NBIoT architecture consists of UE, UNP, and EPC. EPC contains MME, HSS, SGW, and PGW. UNODB is the main job for our project. This is NPIoT control panel protocol stack. The interface UU is air interface between UE and UNODB. The protocol stack have RRC, PDCP, RLC, MAC, and physical layer on UU interface. We only focus on UNODB side because our work is specifically working on Inotv side. There are several differences between LTE and NBIoT. Some of the drawback in LTE can be handled by NBIoT. Narrowband Internet of Things is a new 3GPP standard aiming to support long range, low complexity, low power, and low data rate service. This makes sense, since in the future NBIoT is expected to be used for M2M communication, which has more than a billion devices connected. Scheduling is one of the different parts between NBIoT and LTE. Based on IoT requirements, NBIoT does not need to provide very short transmission time and high throughput. The main concept is to larger coverage and lower UE complexity. LT is scheduler on the schedule one subframe one time, but NPIoT has to schedule one period one time because of lower UE complexity. NPIoT used at least a single subframe to transmit scheduling information called DCI. LTE only uses several symbols for DCI. Each NBIoT channel and signal is transmitting in longer time than LTE is. This is our architecture. We use OAI platform to implement LTE to NBIoT. Nokia provided NBIoT EPC in supporting this work. This is our job partition. NTUSD work in Mac, upper physical layer, and FAPI interface while lower layer handled by Eurocom and Vcom. This is LTE design architecture between layer 1 and layer 2 in OAI. And BIoT has a lot of modification in Mac layer including random access and scheduling. OAI use NFAPI for handling the message exchange between layer 1 and layer 2. We update it due to new specification of NBIoT. And physical also have new feature like new synchronous signal. We modify each module to implement NBIoT feature. NBIoT have new procedure and feature in Mac layer like scheduling, resource management, TRX, control management, etc. Scheduler is one of important module in Mac layer. 
the scheduling procedure have very large difference between NPILT and LTE so a lot of function have to be added modified and removed in scheduler module the max schedule consists of preprocessor and final scheduling the preprocessor is responsible for process scheduling algorithm final scheduling run the remaining procedure according to the scheduling result from preprocessor and we provide the replaceable algorithm module preprocessor for developer who want to try different scheduling algorithm developers can easily put their algorithm in preprocessor module and test the performance when it not be running we have the log file storing the processing information we have a tool for showing the timing diagram for each signal and transmission this tool read log file schedule results.txt then generate the diagram schedule results.txt is generated by enotb developer can fill this file for process timing diagram this is our timing diagram which show all message we can see here we use different color for different message and signal 